Sony RX103 review. Features and Design At first glance, the 20.1 megapixel RX103, $800, looks similar to the original RX100 and DT editor's choice, the RX102, but there are some major differences like a new lens, processor, and a pop-up electronic viewfinder, EVF, with the latter being the coolest of all new features. You'd be hard-pressed finding another compact camera this small with a usable EVF. This is one of those amazing breakthroughs rarely seen in the sea of digital cameras that pass through our offices. Another major enhancement is a new Zeiss Vario Sonar lens. Instead of a 28 to 100 mm zoom on the earlier editions, the RX103 is 24 to 70 mm 2.9x. Although you're giving up a lot on the telephoto end, it's much brighter overall with an aperture range of f-1.8 2.8 versus f-1.8 4.9. Since it gathers in almost twice as much light at 70mm, you'll have better opportunities for good images and dim settings. This shorter zoom may be a problem for some shutter bugs, so a test drive is important. There's a control ring around the lens and its functions change when you switch modes. Also on the front of the camera is an app assist lamp to aid with focus. At the far left of the top deck is the pop-up EVF. It's a 0.39 inch SVGA OLED screen that's rated 1,440K dots, Sony calls it true finder. You click a switch on the left side of the camera body and, like magic, it appears. You do have to pull it out towards you, about a half inch, in order to use it, there's a diopter switch to make adjustments for your eyesight. This is way cool, an honest to goodness breakthrough and the quality is excellent. The main feature on the back is a hinge 3 inch LCD that can be adjusted 180 degrees for selfie mode. That display is very good, rated at 1,229K dots and we had no issues shooting in bright sunshine once the sunny weather setting was engaged. To the right of the screen are a small thumb rest, red dot video button, and keys for function, menu, playback, and custom. There's also a jog wheel with center OK button. The four points give access to flash, exposure compensation, burst, self-timer, and display. On the right side are two small compartments for the USB and HDMI connections, and on the left are the aforementioned switch to raise the EVF and the ONFC, near field communication, tag for quick pairing with Android devices. On the bottom are the battery and card slots, it accepts SD and memory stick media. You'll definitely want to purchase a very high speed, high capacity card especially if you want to capture videos with the new Zovk S codec that records movies at 50 Mbps versus 28 Mbps of typical Avd clips. We found out the hard way when we loaded an 8GB SDHC UHS -I card and discovered it couldn't record the new format. A Sony 64GB SDXC card did the trick, UHS -I compatible. These newer cards are more expensive at $1 plus per gigabyte than standard SDHC media, so be prepared. Like nearly all new Sony cameras, the RX103 comes with Wi-Fi connectivity, which you can use with Android and iOS devices via Sony's Play Memories app. We've mentioned this in previous Sony reviews, but Sony has one of the better Wi-Fi implementations. You can use it to easily share and upload images with a smartphone or tablet, or use a smart device to remotely control.